All right, so with this video, I want to talk about vitamin D deficiency in women with PCOS. And you might be saying, why Drew? Why is that important? And the reason is, is because 67 to 85% of women with PCOS will be vitamin D deficient. And let me explain with this video exactly why that is important to your health and what you can do about it. So if you look here, and vitamin D is actually a vitamin and a hormone. And what that means is the cells of your body actually have vitamin D receptors on them. And as I always speak about, what do I always say about hormones and hormonal balance? When hormones are either too high or too low, it causes many issues with other hormones and your overall health. And it's the same for vitamin D. So when you're deficient or low in vitamin D, it's going to cause a range of potential issues for your PCOS and your overall health. So what does vitamin D actually do? It's really important for calcium balance, but it's also important for glucose balance. So glucose is blood sugar, blood sugar balance. And as we always speak about with PCOS, we're always speaking about PCOS, blood sugar, insulin. So can you see here, if vitamin D is vitally important for glucose balance, well, that's gonna be important for any woman who has insulin resistance. It's also very important for reproductive health. So vitamin D plays a role in ovarian follicular development, the maturation of your follicles into ovulation, and also progesterone production. We know progesterone is a really important hormone during pregnancy and just for overall health. So if you look here, all right, what are the possible causes of vitamin D deficiency. The first one there is PCOS. As I said, 67 to 85% of women with PCOS will be deficient in vitamin D. A lack of sun, as we always say, vitamin D is the sunshine vitamin. So the largest portion of vitamin D you get will be from the sun and also being overweight because vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin, which means when there's too much body fat in the system, vitamin D becomes inactive. So now it's like, why is this important? What impact is seen when you're vitamin D deficient? So let's look here. Vitamin D deficiency has been shown in studies to be linked to depression, weight gain, hair loss, fatigue, metabolic syndrome, so things like heart disease, high triglycerides, high blood pressure, and also insulin resistance. So if you are deficient in vitamin D, you are at a greater risk of experiencing these symptoms. So then how do you know if you're vitamin D deficient? Well, there's the gold standard test that your doctor will do is what's called the 25 hydroxy vitamin D test. It's written out here, 25 OH in brackets, D test. And if you score under 20 on that test, it shows that you are deficient in vitamin D. So if you are concerned, make sure you get this test done by your doctor to see if you are deficient in vitamin D. And just some studies I was looking at earlier today was showing that vitamin D supplementation and calcium supplementation has shown to be really beneficial on menstrual regulation and ovulation in women with PCOS. So if you're trying to fall pregnant, make sure you're supplementing with vitamin D and calcium. And then if you do want to top up your vitamin D levels, make sure exposure to the sun, foods like eggs and fatty fish, or simply take a vitamin D supplement. I know vitamin D is one of the ingredients we have in balance, which is our PCOS multivitamin. And the daily dosage you wanna be hitting is at least 600 IUs daily. But with PCOS, you may wanna look at 1,000 IUs every single day. So make sure you're not skipping out on your vitamin D. As you can see here, it's incredibly important to make sure your vitamin D levels are optimal. So if you have any questions about this video, vitamin D or PCOS in general, let me know. I love having a chat and as always, I will see you on our next video.